Hey guys, back again my test world here. Um, it's been a while since I've shown you the uh, RS Nor Latch Array, uh, the conditional RS Nor Latch Array that I showed you guys a while back, and then when they updated it to 1.73, I think it uh, broke part of the circuit. So if you had the um, schematic from uh, the previous video, it won't work. You just have to you'd have to modify it uh, to make it work. It is possible, but uh, it wasn't uh, immediately obvious. Uh, so I decided to uh, make another uh, video here showing you how this works and how to make it. Um, uh, to remind you, basically what we have here is um, RS NOR latches set up uh, in an array and um, basically each one is conditional on the previous one so if uh, none of the RS NOR latches here are set, in other words none of the torches there are on, uh, when you press this button the first RS NOR latch will come on and only that one when you push the button again, it'll, the circuit checks to see which is the last torch lit and it will light up the next torch in line. So basically it uh, acts as a counter. So each time you hit this button, it will add a torch. So this could be hooked up to a, um, a pressure plate or a uh, uh, detector rail. Uh, to do whatever counting job you needed it to do, and then when you wanted to subtract numbers, you'd hit the, you'd have this other line activated, which uh, takes a uh, torch away, basically. So this is the subtract line, and this is the add line. And you can also, if necessary, you can add lines that will turn them all on or turn them all off. Um, but I'm going to show you basically this model here with an add and subtract line show you how it's built um, it looks complicated but uh, it's all based off of um, uh, individual parts here that you just copy and paste so we're going to start with the RS NOR latches and so we're going to put uh, a row of blocks uh, two blocks apart and then one block apart that way for however, however many long you want to go. If you want to do a digital counter you would want to do um, 10 of these for each digit and possibly more if you, for the reset, I'm not sure. Um, so however many you want to do um, then you put uh, repeaters down in front of the block and uh, and then dust on each top of the blocks and then uh, let me sh finish this one here show you the individual one here. Um, so you torch there and torch there. So this is the RS NOR latch here, just this, uh, these three blocks plus the torches and repeater. And uh, so if you power that torch, the other one will come on, stay on, and power that one. So basically just your basic RS NOR latch, but it's uh, in a nice form here. So uh, then we'll go down the line here and uh, copy that pattern all the way down. So we need a torch on each of these faces and then a torch on each of these faces like so. Alright, so that, that is the, uh, the all there are snore latches and um, again you could go as far as you wanted to down the line. Uh, the next part is the uh, conditional part and uh, whether it's an AND gate or an OR gate or a NOR gate or gate or an AND gate or God, I don't really care anymore. But um, I always get it wrong, whichever one I tell people it is. But basically, it's the principle behind it is the same for most of those uh, gates. But I think it's the um, AND and the NOR gate. I don't know, whatever. Um, basically what you have is you have two power sources that are trying to power the same torch. That's the, the basic thing that's going on. And only when both power sources go off will the torch come on. So what I'm building here is that, and I'll call it an AND gate, um, we've got this torch here, 
which is powering through the repeater in the dust. It's powering this torch here. And I'm also going to have a, um, a line that's powered coming from here. It won't be this torch specifically. But it'll also be powering it. This will be the add line, the um, addition line. And um, since this first RS NOR latch is not set yet, this torch is on. Uh, when this RS NOR latch gets set by uh, powering this torch here, notice this dust came on on top of that torch and now this torch is off well it's no longer powering this dust here that's being powered from this side now but um, what it means is this torch is not powering this torch so that if this line goes off then the next RS snor latch can be set so if I take away this torch the next RS snor latch line can be set and um, if I did that with one that hadn't been set yet, um, like, uh, let's see here, let's reset that. Oh, but that, that has to stay powered by default. So reset that one, reset that one. Okay, right. so if I um, take this torch away and try to add a number here, uh, since it's being powered from before, it's not letting this torch come on, and therefore it won't turn on this RS nor latch. Alright, so hopefully uh, that was understandable. Um, then the next one in line, it's slightly different just to offset everything. So there's going to be two repeaters. The next one has one, the next one has two. And that's all we've got for now. Um, and then a piece of dust on the end of each one is just one space extra each time. And we'll run these lines out, and then uh, have a torch on top of each one of these end pieces. Now, notice when I place that torch, that redstone dust changed, um, and you also notice that this dust is not powering this block. It's not turning that torch off. Only when you have a dust on a uh, piece of block on top, a blocker, will it transmit that power sideways into that block. So those are necessary. These blocks on top. All right, so, so far so good. Uh, and then we need to have dust connecting these torches to the RS nor latches. And then we need to hook up our add line here. And I'll run a line to each one of the repeaters, just basically uh, send the power in. I think you could do it that way. In fact, I'll just, no, you see the repeater there, so it might as well just be consistent. So we'll just keep that. There's no delay. Uh, we're not using the delay um, because what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to a. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a monostable circuit, except it's a. Um, so do I want to set the? How did I do it over here? I had it going. Oh, okay, so one more back. Um, it's it's a monostable circuit except it's um, always powered instead of being unpowered. So we'll set that there and then we'll set this tick to three, I think. Let's see if that works. So that when I hit this button here, watch the line, it'll go off and on really quick, uh, much faster than the button pulls. Let's see, I don't think well, that's too quick, I think. It barely flickers. Let's see what I did over here. Did I have it on full? Yeah, I had it on full. So it needs a little bit longer than a, uh, a really sh a one tick uh, monostable circuit, but not as long as the button pulse. The button pulse is too long. And then we're going to hook up this side of it, um, the unpowered side, straight onto that first RS nor latch, so that when we hit the first RS nor or the first button, it'll turn on that first RS nor latch by default. And then as we hit the next button, it'll check to see if, um, what am I doing wrong here? Um, oh, let's see, I need to have a, see the power is getting sent back into that block, so, yeah. So that, that is just an isolator, that repeater right there. So when I hit the button again, it uh, checks to see what's the next torch available and then sends a pulse. And uh, we need that monostable circuit to send a very short pulse, otherwise these all will light up together. 
because uh, the button pulse is so long. All right. So step one down. Now we need to do the subtraction line. So let's put some dust in between each of these. Like so. And then we're going to put a torch on each one of these faces. And then in front of those torches we'll put a block and some dust on top. Oops. And then on the side of those blocks we'll have a torch. And then uh, in front of these blocks we'll have a repeater of this old um, I guess I don't yeah, well it's just isolated basically. The, the delay is not necessary, but you don't have that dust there like that. So um, they're just basically isolating the line. Alright, so that um, goes in like that and then we need to have um, so on the other side when you're adding the, the first RS neural latch is the one at the end, but this on this side when you're subtracting this is the first one we want to turn off. So we need to have an extra line here and like before it's inverted from uh, the uh, this, the add line is inverted from that other side. This is inverted from the subtraction line. So I need to uh, power. I need to get power up to this block here. So um, and uh, by default this is lit up. It's going to be the same as the uh, the add line. So um, how did I do that before? I think I had. Um, I think I had it going like that. I think I'll do it a little differently this time. I think I will try it and see. Because I, I don't want it to come in that far. Let me try it this way and I'll see if it works. Um, not a green wall. Change this to on top of the block. That should work. That should light up and should reset that last or so Let's see if that works. Um, now, yeah, keep that lit for a second. Um, now I want to do it like that. And this is going to be another uh, inverted monostable circuit, if you will. Um, yeah, shoot. Reset that one. Um, and then I can set this on full. Okay. So um, this inverted monostable circuit turns that line, the subtraction line off and on. And um, if we've done it right, which we haven't. Um, we need to put a repeater here down the line. Alright, so I think that does it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so um, now we, you can see those torches subtracting away. Um, so if you want to add, add on this side. And if you want to subtract, you subtract on this side. There it is. I'll uh, go ahead and copy this into a schematic so you have a new copy of it. And I will uh, post that. Um, if you're curious and you want to know how to reset them all at once, um, basically what you have to do is, um, let's see here, this slide up, or if you want to set them all at once, you, you dig a trench underneath here and you would put torches under each. Uh, one of these RS nor latches here. The, this piece of dust, this piece of dust, this piece of dust. Put torches underneath there and then uh, invert them all obviously and then hook them up to a button. And then when you push the button each one of these would light up. And then on the back side you just do the same thing it's just except you do it underneath uh, the dust here. So. So since this dust is unlit, if you had a torch there that lit up, it would uh, reset all these original latches at once. So, but for this particular model, I won't include that. I'll keep it simple. 
So uh, I'll put that in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.